Hey. My diamonds is changing the forecast. I just woke up at Dior tags. Walk in the store at Dior Splash. We get a chicken like DoorDash. Remember, I couldn't afford that. No cap. No bat. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, JDI family. Welcome back to another episode of the Keys at 12 o'clock. You feel me? Welcome back, my nigga. Before we start, shout out to everybody that's part of Naughty Gang. If you're part of Naughty Gang, drop a Naughty Gang down in the comments and let me know if you're part of Naughty Gang, my nigga. You feel me? But listen, let's jump into this video. Today, I feel like we need to go back and go over the, the basics. You feel me? We need to go over the basics of William. So, without further ado, let's go, my nigga. Let's go. First things first is you want to get you a dirt bike that that you're comfortable on you know what i mean william is scary it, it's scary at first i already know it is but you want to get yourself as comfortable as possible that's you know what i mean you want to get yourself as comfortable as possible it takes time to get comfortable on some bikes you feel me get you a bike that you like get you a bike that you feel comfortable with get you a bike that you think you can willy if you think you can do it then it's guaranteed that you will be able to do it so get you a bike that you think you could willy you feel me and then start practicing my nigga the first thing you want to do is is practice popping the bike up popping the wheel up that's the first thing you want to do my nigga you want to pop the wheel up and then immediately hit the brake right after that my nigga you want to keep doing it over and over and over my nigga repeatedly it's a process it's a process until it becomes automatic in your head my nigga you might have to do it a thousand times it might you might have to do it more than that keep popping the front wheel up my nigga and hitting the brake every time you pop it up pop it up a little bit higher my nigga go a little bit higher next time hit the brake you don't really gotta slam like real hard on the brake but you gotta hit the brake that back brake makes that front wheel go back to the ground always remember that my nigga the back brake is your best friend I swear to god bro pop it up hit the brake pop it up hit the brake keep doing it my nigga over and over and over all right the next thing i want to go over with you guys is you gotta clamp the bike with your legs my nigga clamp the bike with your leg it helps you it helps stabilize you on the bike it helps keep you in position it, it makes your willy better it makes your willy better bro promise you that we got the sun going in and out getting dark getting light getting dark getting light what's going on but listen you want to clamp the bike with your legs my nigga it, it, it stabilizes you it keeps you secure to the bike it, it makes the willy better it makes the willy more controllable you feel me it makes it way more controllable so hold on with your legs more than you holding on with your arms bro because if you holding on more with your arms it's gonna get it's gonna get ugly bro your arms gonna get tired you feel me really can't move around like that because you holding on mad like you mad cock diesel when you not my nigga like nah so clamp the bike with your legs bro Bro. all right let's move on um another thing i want to go over with you guys is shift locking is another one shift locking actually helps this actually goes hand in hand with holding on if you holding on and you shift locking you good bro because those two things go hand in hand my nigga holding on and shift locking bro if you guys don't know how to shift lock i made a video on how to shift lock and what shift locking is all shift locking is is holding the gear up with your foot as you're willing you never put the gear down you always hold it up with your foot that's what shift locking is you just hold the gear up yeah there's two ways you can shift lock but there's like three ways you can hold on with the bike i've seen people hold on without shift locking like they put their foot behind the peg or something like that one of my man showed me on the harley he's like yeah because he was he was doing the hand drag i said where are you putting your foot at to hold on bro he said i put my foot back here i'm like huh that's weird i never tried that before he puts his foot like behind the peg and holds on there i'm like huh everybody rides different but it, you got you you got to do whatever you comfortable with you feel me everybody has different comforts so i'm guessing he's comfortable with with his foot behind the peg so i'm like all right whatever i'd I'll, I'll rather have my foot in front of the peg under that gear holding myself up that's how i that's how i feel comfortable but yeah that's all that shift locking is shift locking is holding the gear up with your foot my nigga we already made a video on that so go check it out i don't even know what episode this is i lost track like 13 13 14 it might be 12 i don't even know but listen shift locking is very important when you do your one hand swinging your arm you want to be shift locking as you're doing that helps secure you to the bike you feel me so practice your shift locking let's move on another thing i'm going to go over with you guys from the beginning is what gear you want to willing what gear should you be willing in it? it's an issue because people be telling y'all niggas like you should be in third fourth gear my nigga no absolutely not my nigga how are you starting off in third and fourth gear bro what happened to first and second gear bro you just skip first and second and you automatically in third and fourth gear you never will before and you already in third and fourth gear you never did a willy before you're gonna die my nigga you're gonna really hurt yourself my nigga on um, bro you're gonna
gonna hurt yourself, bro. Like, how are you in third and fourth gear? You never would it before. You got niggas telling you that. I already know niggas be telling y'all that. If I heard it myself, nah, nigga, you should be in third, fourth gear. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, G's. I stay in first and second. How are you in third and fourth gear? You can't be in third and fourth gear, bro. You can now, you can be in third and fourth gear when you actually know how to willy. Then you can go third, fourth gear. Third, fourth gear willies, my nigga. Y'all niggas doing third, fourth gear willies. You ain't never willy the bike in your life, my nigga. You about to die. You chasing a willy, bro. That's another thing. Chasing willy. Y'all gotta stop doing that. If you don't know what chasing a willy is, is it's a willy. It's not a full blown willy. You feel me? It's not an actual. It's not a hundred percent willy, my nigga. It's not a hundred percent willy because you got the tire like this high off the ground, my nigga, and you going like 50, 60, trying to hold it up as long as you can. That's not a willy, bro. First and second gear is the gears that you want to be bullying in. I promise if you master first gear, all the other gears are going to be so easy to wheel in. Just practice in first gear all day long, bro. All day, every day. First gear. Switch from first to second while you're in the air. Do that. That'll help too. I guarantee you're going to get nice. You master first gear, that's the most powerful gear. That gear has the most power out of all the other gears. It has the most torque, the most power. You master that gear, you good, bro. Let's move on now. Um, another thing before you guys ride, before you ride on your bike and you go out and practice, you wanna stretch your fingers out. You just wanna, you know what I mean? Put your fingers on the handlebars and just stretch them so you, your fingers don't get cramped up, you feel me? Stretch these joints out before you go and do a wheelie. It's gonna help you. Crack them, if you gotta crack them, boom, crack these joints, let me see. I don't even know if I could crack them. Oh, oh, bro, bro, hold on. Y'all heard that, my nigga? Oh my God, that's the thumb thumb. Ooh, index finger, oh my God, but yeah. Just crack your fingers before you go and ride, you feel me? You don't want your fingers getting cramped up, my nigga. I'm telling you now. All right, let's move on. I got one more thing for y'all. Throttle control is, is key. Throttle control is a major key, my nigga. You wanna have very good throttle control bro work on your throttle control you don't even have to be willing to work on your throttle control you feel me you don't have to willy to work on your throttle control you can work on your throttle control just riding because as you ride you know how much gas you got to give it to go this certain amount of speed you know how much gas to give it and what this bike is going to do how much power it's going to give off just from riding so when you go to willy you know what you're doing how much how much gas you got to give it so work on your throttle control my nigga you don't gotta work on your throttle control while you're doing a willy but if you want to work on your throttle control popping the bike up hand and the brake go hand in hand i said that in the beginning those two things go hand in hand because you're working on your throttle control and you're working on your braking you're popping it up and hitting the brake at the same time those the two things go hand in hand my nigga you want to practice all these things all these all this stuff that i'm telling you my nigga helps a lot bro i help a lot of people my nigga i'm telling you right now all this stuff helps bro go apply these things my nigga but listen that's what I got for y'all niggas today. I hope this video was helpful, my nigga. I hope this video was helpful, my nigga. Because we got a lot of new subs and a lot of new people that want to learn how to willy. I hope this video was helpful, my nigga. Go apply these things. And I will see y'all niggas in the next vlog, y'all.